Hello everyone, today we are going to discuss a very interesting topic of cardiology which is presented by Nor Zani. What are heart valves and their types? What are functions of valves? Do arteries have valves? How many valves are present in the heart? The heart has four valves, which separate its chambers. One valve lies between each atrium and ventricle, and one valve rests at the exit of each ventricle. The valves between the atria and ventricles are called the atrioventricular valves. Between the right atrium and the right ventricle is the tricuspid valve of the tricuspid valve has three cusps, which connect to chordae tendiae and three papillary muscles. The mitral valve lies between the left atrium and left ventricle. It is also known as the bicuspid valve due to its having two cusps. These cusps are also attached via chordae tendinae to two papillary muscles projecting from the ventricular wall. The pulmonary valve is located at the base of the pulmonary artery. This has three cusps which are not attached to any papillary muscles. The semiunar aortic valve is at the base of the aorta and also is not attached to papillary muscles. This too has three cusps which close with the pressure of the blood flowing back from the aorta. The heart has four valves, icortic, mitral, tricuspid, and pulmonary. The aortic valve lies between the left ventricle and the aorta. The mitral valve lies between the left atrium and the left ventricle. The pulmonary valve lies between the right ventricle and the pulmonary artery. The tricuspid valve lies between the right atrium and the right ventricle. The job of each heart valve is to open so that blood can flow out of the chamber or close so that blood does not flow back the wrong way. The mitral valve, also called the bicuspid valve, allows blood to flow from the left atrium to the left ventricle. The tricuspid valve allows blood to flow from the right atrium to the right ventricle. The aortic valve allows blood to flow from the left ventricle to the aorta. The pulmonary valve allows blood to flow from the right ventricle to the pulmonary artery. Typically, arteries lack valves. However, there are valves on the two arteries exiting the right and left ventricles that stop blood from flowing backward, which are aortic and pulmonary valves are typically regarded as heart valves. The aortic valve opens and the mitral valve shuts when the left ventricle contracts, allowing blood to flow into the aorta. Normally, arteries do not possess valves, but two arteries that originate from the right and left ventricles have valves in order to prevent the backflow of blood. These two valves, which are aortic and pulmonary, are usually regarded as the heart valves. When the left ventricle contracts, the mitral valve is closed and the aortic valve opens, so the blood can flow into the aorta. Valves also help blood travel back to the heart against the gravitational force. Additionally, the valves aid in the blood's struggle against gravity to return to the heart. Valve problems include stenosis, which happens when a valve does not open wide enough. Valve problems include stenosis, which happens when a valve does not open wide enough, blocking the blood flow and regurgitation, which occurs when a valve does not close well and becomes leaky. This allows blood to flow in the wrong direction. Stenosis describes a valve opening that is too small. Regurgitation, also known as backflow or insufficiency, happens when a valve does not seal tight. Do you poo know about hole in the heart? An atrial septal defect as a hole in the heart between the upper chambers, tantria, the hole increases the amount of blood that flows through the lungs. The condition is present at birth congenital heart defect. Atrial septal defect signs and symptoms can include shortness of breath, especially when exercising fatigue, swelling of legs, feet or belly abdomen irregular heartbeats or be a sensation of a rapid pounding heartbeat palpitations or skipped beat swooshing sound that can be heard through a stethoscope heart murm.
Thanks for watching.